is a small-sized town located at the shores of the freshwater Lake Naivasha, about 80 kilometers from Nairobi City. The town covers an area of 30 kilometers squared and has a population estimated at 70,000. The sanitation in the town relies mostly on pit latrines. Only 5% of households and businesses are connected to the sewer line, which is linked to a treatment facility. Ecosan project as a, in a pilot phase was introduced new technical options in Kenya which does not follow the usual sanitation procedures. What Ecosan tries to do is to make sanitation a productive activity with economic benefits so that to make it more attractive for the people of Kenya. The next project is public sanitation in Naivasha Bus Park. The business community at the Naivasha Bus Park reads from a similar script. The municipal council of Naivasha had a, facility, a toilet facility at the bus stage. That facility was wanting for both women and the men. Its uh, outlook was in a very bad state. It used to have human waste scattered all over up to the door of that facility. A once dilapidated, smelly toilet that polluted the environment has been replaced with a new facility and fitted with a biodigester that produces biofuel. It is providing access to safe sanitation for 9,000 people in a month, comprising of single travelers, regular user residents, and business people. It is also providing safe water in a water kiosk. <laughs> The new sanitation facility at the Naivasha Bus Park was put in operation in July 2007. 9,000 users are served by the facility in a month. Out of this, 3,600 are single-user travelers and 180 regular user residents and business people. The facility also offers showers for bathing which are used mainly by the residents and business people. It is connected to the town water supply and has enough storage tanks to cater for short supply interruptions. Furthermore, a better operation and management system has been put in place to ensure that the facility generates enough revenue to finance itself. A trained operator has been contracted by the water service provider for the day-to-day -day operation of the facility. Tulifuza tukaambiwa hiyo ni kitu hasa enea watu wa Kiswahili na wakijua maana yake. Na kwa vile sasa kuna shida ya kuni, kuna shida ya mafuta ya taa, kuna shida ya moto yote. Hiyo ni moto ambao haitagalimu kitu. Ambao inagalimu ile chakula likula makojo hilo likojoa na maji hilo lisabiza naye choo kwa hivyo inaonekana watu wa kitumia muradi watakuwa wanainua Kenya kwa hali mrefu sana a trained operator has been contracted by the water service provider for the day to day operation of the facility the gas generated by the plant is channeled to a local hotel at the bus stop for cooking hii biogas mimi hutumia kupika chai asubuhi breakfast kupika mayai kupika kuchamsha maziwa na hata kupikia ugali ni kama gasi ya kawaida wezi kujua tofauti isipokuwa uambiwe umetoka kwa choo kisha kisha hakuna tofauti hata harufu haina iko sawa kabisa